you know, I was born to be on the camera. Not really. I was born to be in the camera. We're back right here, 90.3 WMSC, the WMSC Peep Show, where it's at. And let me tell you, our next guest are Peep Show favorites. They came here the last time, they lit up the boards, lit up the phones, and I'm so happy to have these guys back because out of their busy schedule, you know, it's hard to get them. You guys should know. All right, we have Killer Goose Films right here. Killer right. Goose. Yeah. Right. You guys came in here because you got the new movie out now. We do. Yes. Plug. Dead for Life. Dead for Life. Yeah, we're very excited about it. The we trailer actually, is online right now at killergoosefilms.com. And you want to tell us a little bit of... I want, you know what, I do, but I want Mike, I want Mike to speak Dead oh, yeah, he's the Because Mike is the star of Dead Wait, for Life. <laughs> well, the character that Dale wrote, he basically wrote for me. And he made him like big and burly and doesn't listen to anyone and quit to anger. And he's really sweaty, so pretty close to my own <laughs> personality. This oh, guy is definitely you, Mike, he's definitely you. You don't even have to act. Just be Bring yourself. The role. Bring the role. <laughs> That's right. Give us like a plot summary. What, what would... All right, Dead for Life is a film about four guys who are, you know, involved in the uh, not so organized crime business, if you will. They, they are up to some shady business. We don't really get into detail about what they do. We're gonna elaborate that on another film, possibly. But it's about four guys who are up to some are shady we? business. Yeah, that's we may, to me. we may, I, you know, I have a little producer. Dale didn't tell me about but, that. But, you know, um, they, they come across a winning lottery ticket and the guy who is pretty much the newbie in the group wins, wins you know, he wins for life. And what happens is, is you know, Mike's character, Grant, uh, you know, who's pretty much the, the rough guy of the bunch decides, hey, you know, this guy's not worth anything. What's he gonna do with it? And they decide to kill him. And in the chaos that ensues, they kill him over the lottery ticket. And, you know, all the guys wind up fighting over this winning lottery ticket. And instead of, you know, being, you Don't know- they have 30 days to cast it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I don't know if that's all. Yeah. But you know, they they fight over the lottery ticket, and you know, but you know, by the end of the film, you pretty much discover that hey, man, you know, people go crazy over money. You know, exactly. you know especially what? in this climate. It, there's a lot of subtext when reading the script. I mean, you kind of see it, but when it's acted out and you're watching the rough cut, you definitely see a lot of uh, juxtapositions like. The, there's one scene where they'll be cutting up a body and making a joke about uh, uh, how good cheesecake is. You know, it's, it's very... It's that's carrot cake. Carrot, carrot cake, cake, excuse me. You yeah. can get that at Eminem Parades in Far Hills. Yeah. That's, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Don't forget that. But, <laughs> no, it, it, it's great. I mean, Dan Link, who's actually on the hallway, did a lot of the makeup and, yeah, the, and the costumes. Some, some and real the, great special effects. It is an R. It is an R-rated trailer, a red band trailer. So if you do decide to watch the trailer, be prepared. I watched the trailer. Did I, you watch the trailer, I, Steve? I, I enjoyed it. Oh man, yeah. see that's it praise did, already. It actually yeah. made me want to watch it. Oh, nice. I really did. That's great. See, I have to watch. I have to but watch. But I, I personally, I personally like that type of film. You yeah. like gore. You yes. like violence, and we love violence and gore too. Exactly. Absolutely. So like, is that that like is my kind of. That's my kind of movie. It's not as extreme as Saw, but I can be honest. There are some brutal scenes in it that might make people squeamish. So you know what? It's like we're lucky, Rich. Honestly, we're lucky enough to have a great group of friends, and we've spent a lot of money on buying our own equipment. A lot of companies rent equipment, and they pay for this and that. And we've developed a circle of friends and workers and crew members that, you know, work hard sometimes for free, donate equipment and time, and that's one thing that we have that a lot of independent companies don't have, and that's all the resources. Yeah.